it's amazing. It's just the whole world is coming here to sit in my lounge, sitting in my lounge and listen to you sing my music. For me, this is like a, a, a miracle. I think for me, it adds value just spiritually. Coffee beans have changed my life. I get much more than money, man. I get, I get a lot of love also. This is, this is food for thought. This is food for thought, a wisdom snack, energy for your trouble. I think, number one, it's providing me with that debriefing space, like that break in my day where I just sit with people from outside who come and who are interested and who are engaging and not just another tourist company coming to click away and take photographs. I think for me, uh, it adds value just spiritually in that way, that it's, it, it, it is uplifting. I like that kind of thing. For me, uh, I mentioned a lot that there's been an element of media for as far as uh, recognizing the brand. I believe a lot of that came through once I connected with Coffee Beans because I've, like it's crazy, a lot of interviews that I do, I always get asked the question like, what's one thing that happened to you that you know or you feel like it would have never happened if you were still an accountant. And I always recall having people, like having big people from New York, Germany, like a lot of people actually coming to see your work and appreciating what you do, which is what Coffee Bean Roots does. It's, it's, it's amazing for me. Like it's an experience that I always take from me, take away with me. What I can say is that uh, Coffee Beans that I am working for have changed my life because now I know that in, at the end of the month I'm getting something. I'm getting a salary and working from home at my pace. Nobody's rushing me, nobody's, you know, I don't wake up and have to take a taxi. I'm doing everything at home. So coffee beans have really make a difference to our lives. As a musician who is, is close to retirement, and I'm 58 years old now, and, 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 and for me, this is like a, a, a miracle, you know what I mean? Um, and, and like I said earlier on, you know, I prefer doing this than to, than to going out to a club, having to carry this heavy amp and this big double bass down the staircase, and oh, I use the lift to come when I come home. But at home, I ask my wife when I get home at night, some, some nights from gigs, my back is, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying that I'll stop doing this. I love play, performing with Hilton and, and, and the drummer, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's the ultimate. This is a different experience musically, you know, playing on your own. This is lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, the work comes to you basically. In your own home. And uh, people come here and they enjoy it, they appreciate the music. Yeah, we share, we're kind of sharing it well, the music and the, and the cooking, it's a nice combination. Mm -hmm. We're sharing that with, uh, with the rest of the world, with people that come around, you know. It uh, creates more performance opportunities for us and um, it exposes us to immense possibilities especially if I'm thinking now as a teacher and as a, as a, as a, as a coach to these um, younger men around me. This one, for example, is in his matric grade 12. And there's nothing that I hope more for him than to be spotted by uh, people that can take him further than I am able to take him. And out of that, I get much more than money, man. I get, I get a lot of love also, you know? So, so I think, um, for my coexistence at this time, it really helps me because there isn't a lot of work for cultural workers like me. There isn't a lot of work for poets. There isn't a lot of work for cultural performers. There isn't a lot of work for poets. You know, especially me that's on the margins. I'm right on the margins with my Guma poetry. So um, this adds a lot of value to my existence and my coexistence. If this is truly Cape Town, this big area, and we take the three main economic nodes, which are the CBD, Belleville, and Claremont, and draw a circle, Langa is in fact the centre of the city of Cape Town. So welcome to the 
new centre of the city of Cape Town. And if it hadn't been for the initial approach by Ian Harris of Coffee Bean Roots, who said, listen, my guests are interested in what you're doing. It's not about the finished product, it's about the story and the journey. And um, that helped us understand the complexities of doing tourism in this community. It gave us the space to, um, to nibble at the edges of tourism, but without having to have a fully fledged tourism unit ourselves. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a platform where I have um, people from abroad coming to see here in the backyard, you understand? And, and that, that, that makes me very happy because uh, uh, if I was doing that on my own, that could take years to, to take here in the backyard to overseas because there are people coming from USA, uh, Netherlands, from you know, different spaces. So, so this is the great platform for me. And I think the, the, the relationship that I'm having with coffee beans is working very good. And sometimes in the theatre industry, there, there are times where it's dry for maybe two to three months, you understand? But in this, it's, it's, we, we don't feel that dryness. And then as far as like even financially and like, it's been very supportive to me, you know, um, it's, it's given me a lot of um, pride in what I do, I guess, you know. Um, I feel my work more. I'm able to relate my work to people and tell them what I do, you know, which I think maybe years back I would be, I'd be able to tell them I do graffiti, but explaining my style and explaining how I go about what I do is, was a bit more challenging, you know, and I guess now through continuously practicing it that much that it just becomes you, I guess, you know, second nature. And yeah, you enjoy doing it, you know, you have fun while you're doing it. And it's been great. It's been, it's been a lot of learning, you know, and I've grown a lot over this one, one and a half, almost two years now. And to teach people something and to open their eyes as to things that may, they may be, or a world that may be blind to. So I think it's quite enriching. And it's, it's been a wonderful experience for me too. So, and it makes me feel important. And if it hadn't been for, for that partnership, while we were developing, I mean, we've been going for sort of, as I said, we started seven years ago. I've described this whole piece as, um, imagine being at sea um, in, a, in, in a storm, in a boat that you're building at the same time without knowing which direction you're heading or where you're going. And the only thing we had to guide us was social enterprise principles. So starting on a journey which some might say is reckless or foolhardy, we weren't always in a position to earn income. And um, it's either people who've um, believed in me and the vision, enough to say, well, let me help you out and invest in you, or through partnerships with, with um, Coffee's Minute Roots has been our longest partnership. Um, them sending tourists to us um, has enabled us to keep the lights on, pay the phone bills. I mean, it's been that basic. So it's, it's been of critical importance to us, the income that we've got through the partnership with Coffee Beans Roots. I mean, without it, I don't think we would be here probably. I'm not being too dramatic in saying that. Um, um, or, or my hair would be great by now. But um, It goes way above than just being remunerated or having a person come through and buy an item of, of, of clothing that I create. I'm able to, yeah. I'm able to, to also say now or, or to brag that uh, my clothing are sold to people from Switzerland. Like when I say that, people are, are thinking that I'm this huge brand who exports to Switzerland, Germany, not understanding that I actually get uh, people coming through through the coffee beans route and able to take my clothes and then taking it overseas to countries that I'm um, at this point not even looking at going into. So. There is a, a remuneration that we get, but more than that, um, it's, it's the actual opportunity to perform that we appreciate. And for us, music is always about expression, it's always where we, we offload and um, you know, get some form of mental therapy. So um, we really, really, really enjoy it. So the more we sing, the better. When, when Disney was entrenched, uh, she was about to go for, a, about to go for another job. When I said, why didn't we rather just pull all our resources into this thing? And that's what we've been doing, you know. And we have met lots of people from all around the world, you know. And, uh, besides that, we've made some real nice contacts. And of course, uh, in terms of selling the music, I get to sell all my, all my own CDs. So I cut out all the middlemen, all, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm.
entire universe out there of other cultures and different people. And I'm just so privileged to have all these people coming back into my house and jogging my memory of places I've been and experiences I've had. And I've, I've been able to relate to a lot of the different guests and, and sometimes like a little bit of Japanese phrases or somebody's been to Swaziland or went uh, knows the high school I went to in Japan. Like, it's, it's amazing. It's just the whole world is coming here to sit in my lounge, sit in my lounge and listen to me sing my music. Oh, yeah. We 